Well, it's been about 10 days since I did one of these. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so I thought it'd be a good time to, there'd be plenty of sunlight. It's a little breezy, I hope it doesn't cause too much noise on the audio here. But things have been growing quite a bit. I've watered the garden a lot, and then we got that three quarters inch of rain over a couple different days, about a week or so ago. So things have grown a lot and are coming along. I'm actually about to start picking a few things. Um, these tomatoes here, they're about the only thing that isn't growing very fast, but they're finally getting tall enough that they're going to start, I'll be able to start training them up, and up between these uh, strings here. Uh, the squash next to them, they're starting to set on some squash. This first one doesn't have any yet. I think, I think this first one might be the winter squash. They'll take longer, but um, further down there I've got some that are already coming on to show in a little while. Um, these broccoli and the other broccoli I've got in the garden, they're going to start putting on heads pretty soon. They're not quite to that point yet. Over here, I think I've picked pretty much, I think I've picked all the radishes out of these rows now. So this row of turnips are coming along. They don't really have any turnips big enough to pull yet, but they're getting there. Uh, the carrots are still really small. And they'll be coming along later. Oh, there is one radish right there, that little one, but I don't know if it's going to do anything. It just always looks kind of sad. Um, this is, I think I put this up since the last video. These beans were beans I didn't think were going to climb, but then they did, so I put up just this little short chunk of fence. It's just two poles with some twine strung back and forth between them. And up and down it gives them something to climb on. So I'm not sure what, what they are since they're not what I thought they were. And they're not sitting on any beans yet, but we'll see later on what they turn out to be. We've got these little these squash here. They're some kind of a bush squash, uh, summer squash, I assume. Um, I think they probably were a scalloped type. Can't tell yet. They're just starting to set on a lot of blooms. Um, so you can see the blooms just getting started down there. So I can't tell yet just what they are. But there's a lot of a lot of squash on them. So there's there's a bloom. And right back here next to the turnips are a whole lot of cabbage plants. It looks like that I'm gonna have to move in the next few days. Find spaces to move them out where they've got more room to grow. This is just where I planted them to get them started. So they're gonna need to be transplanted real soon. Um, this is something going to seed here yeah it was it was a turnip that was just too crowded and so it just bolted bolted the seed before it made a turnip so if I come on around the end here the peas are looking really good they're blooming and starting to put on um, starting to put on pods and there's a pea pod right there there's a few bigger than that, but probably in a week or so I'll be able to pick peas here. And then this might be a place that I'll end up putting some of those cabbages or something, some sort of later crop. There's a there's one that's getting closer. I'm starting to actually have some peas inside the pod. Should have quite a few of those. These beans here, oh, there's a big one I didn't see before. These beans have been blooming for a while, so they've started to, there's there's a decent size one on there. I'm not sure what kind these are. I just planted a few different kinds here. So I don't know if they're a bean that I'll be eating out of the pot or if there's something that has to be shelled out later, like a kidney bean, a dry bean for chili. I'll be able to tell once they get a little bigger. The ones behind them, I'm pretty sure. These over here look like they're a um, like a black-eyed pea or I think they were actually a green-eyed pea but something in that something in that variety they'll make I'll be able to tell because they make a big long uh, maybe a foot long uh, shell with a lot of beans in it or peas in that case so they'll be able to tell the difference once they get bigger uh, behind me here these are the onion sets they seem to be doing really well um, you can see 
and there's one starting to put on a pretty get a pretty big bulb on the bottom of it um, behind me on the other side there's just a couple of those onions that survived from from plants and then there's a cabbage you can see it's just starting to make a head so those are some of the cabbages I got uh, down at Wagner's and put where the where there was space between the onions. They're kind of crowded by the peas now. The peas really could lean back, but the wind tends to come out of the south here and wants to lean the peas this direction. So as soon as the peas are done, I'll be able to get them off those cabbages. Uh, on the other side of the onions are potatoes. They're looking really good. They're blooming now, so they're probably still a few weeks off from digging. I keep thinking they're just a few weeks off, but they're another few weeks off, um, but they seem really healthy, so hopefully they're making plenty of potatoes. I did dig one potato, one early volunteer one, and it didn't have much, but it wasn't much of a plant in the first place, so I'm not too surprised. Um, there's another cabbage. You can see it's just, just about to start making a head. Um, across the bean rows over here, looking at some of these squash. There's there's one. I think I'll go ahead and pick that one. It's a little little on the small side, but that's a a straight neck yellow squash. So summer squash, kind of like a zucchini, only more flavor. Um, there's another one. They're starting to set on, so I'm gonna have tons of them now. I'll probably be giving them away. Probably be giving a lot of them away because there's just there's a lot of blooms under there. There's there's one one two three four five six six on this plant that I'll be picking within the next few days. I can only eat so many of them myself. So, now some of these other squash plants like this plant here, it's it was planted later on, so it won't be coming on till later. And some of them are winter squash that won't be ready till later, but still, I'm going to have a lot of summer squash to share. There's, that one's got summer squash too. Now, whatever this one is, it's vining out further and it doesn't have any little ones on it yet, so it's probably a winter squash. Let's step back over the beans here. Those are some more broccoli. These are ones from Wagner's that I transplanted in where, where beans didn't come up. That was the rooster. He's looking fat and sassy these days leading the girls around. Um, on the other side of the squash is where I have the beans that are climbing. Those are just getting started and I need to finish putting some up and downs in this in this trellis here. Um, down here you can see the ones that I've done that for and they're climbing some of them or a few of them are at the top. So, the rooster is going to drown me out. So these are the ones I'm looking at right now are lima beans. They're climbing lima a speckled bean, they're a large lima bean. And if I come back down to where I was by the potatoes again, then I get into the stuff that I planted earliest. Got a couple of turnips here, were the only turnips that came up in my early plantings. That one's getting to, getting to be decent sized. I'll be pulling it for too long. Be my first turnip of the year. Beets. Some of them are getting to be decent sized. Probably wait another couple weeks on them. And these are some beans that I planted later where things didn't come up, so they're later. They're uh, they're a little further along or further behind. They won't be putting on any beans just yet, but they're about to bloom. Uh, the Swiss chard is starting to look good. I could pick Swiss chard really any time now. I'll probably give it a couple more days, but uh, I can start picking Swiss chard small amounts of it and using it. On the other side of that I have more broccoli. Like I said last time I'm going to have a lot of broccoli to eat 
and to freeze this year, which I don't mind a bit. I have some peppers here. These small ones, they don't look like much yet, but they are starting to put on some blooms. They are jalapenos. And the healthier looking plants, the bigger ones, are anchos. They're starting to put on some blooms too. They're both uh, fairly mild peppers. I don't really go in for the super hot ones too much, but I like some, some heat in my peppers. Uh, these are some more broccoli transplants. On the other side of me, behind me here, I have the asparagus row, which I've pretty well weeded at this point and filled in with plenty of dirt. Um, it looks good. It's It all came up. I was concerned about that last year. It took a long time to come up. I was afraid it wasn't going to, but it eventually did. And so it's looking pretty good now. On the other side of that, I have strawberries, which look kind of sad at this point, but they're starting to run around. They're starting to run around and start some new plants, which I'll be able to transplant into the row, make the row a little longer. And across from them, I have some squash, or no, this is melon. I planted, I had room for three hills here, so I planted two of them to melons. The one in the middle was a squash that didn't come up, so I'll probably come back if I've got some more melon seed and just go ahead and stick a melon in there too. But these were, I think, two different kinds of melon. One's a cantaloupe and one might have been a watermelon or might have been another cantaloupe, I'm not sure. Um, down here, have a row of stuff. I'm not sure what kind of stuff exactly because I just threw all this. This was a bunch more old seed and I just started putting things in the ground. Um, that is probably some kind of herbs. But I'll have to wait till it gets a little bigger to tell for sure. And then this, which I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's either carrots or dill. I think it's dill, actually. I think this was mostly herbs that I put in here. And then on the end here, which you probably can't see either, there's chives, which just kind of looks like grass. This row mostly didn't come up, whatever it was. Except there's a couple, what I think are zucchini, or not, zinnia, zinnia flowers here. I think that's what those are. The next row is radishes. And I don't recall if there was anything else with the radishes or just radishes. But that's all I'm seeing so far is radishes. So I actually weeded this row just a couple days ago. Then there's a row that didn't come up. I think it was beans. They didn't come up or mole ate them all because I could tell the mole had gone down the row. So I'll put something else here. Maybe some of those cabbage transplants so I have to have room for them. And there's right at the end of the row I think is turnips. I think these are turnips right here. Um, my sage and oregano are looking kind of rough. Yeah, there's a bee on them. So they're doing some good anyway. And the last thing up here is the sweet potatoes. Not really sure if they're doing well or not because they're underground. But uh, I think they're doing okay. Chickens come up here and scratch holes once in a while. But so far they haven't scratched up sweet potatoes so that's good. I need to fill in these holes though. Probably need to put some straw around them too and maybe a little bit of fence or something to keep the chickens from doing that. So that's just about everything for now, I guess. Um, there's another little impromptu fence I stuck in when I discovered that a bean was looking for something to grow on. Um, some of my squash plants are going to vine far enough that I'm going to need to run them over to the fence and train them up at two because they're going to run out of space where they are. So things are looking pretty good. Still can use a rain. Otherwise I'm going to be watering it here again in a couple days.
days if it doesn't rain. But things are looking good. I've been able to s still stay in ahead of the weeds, which kind of amazes me, but I've been uh, keeping the weeds down pretty well, I'm keeping things trained up the fences so far. And, and uh, now I just need to wait just a little longer and I'll be able to start picking stuff. So I'm picking squash now. I could be picking Swiss chard today. And in another week, there'll be peas. There could be beans. They might be a little further off. Um, there could be turnips, beets. So things are coming along pretty well. I'm real happy with it this year. Probably the best garden I've ever had. So I'm really enjoying it. So I think that's it for this week, and I'll try to do another one of these soon.